Guys, welcome. Let me preface this intro. If you're interested in seeing a giant robotic arm pick a Corvette way up into the air, then stick around. Um, welcome back to the Rolling On channel, guys. If it's your first time joining us, my name's Zach, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, this week I had the opportunity to go to Chicago for IMTS, which is the International Manufacturing Technology Show. And at IMTS, there are exhibits from all over the world featuring basically the cutting edge of manufacturing technology. Lots of robots, lots of automation, um, lots of milling machines, CNC lathes, that type of thing. And this video is just going to be quick clips of all the things that I thought were cool at the show. Manufacturing has been an interesting career so far. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I graduated high school. Went to college, got a job in manufacturing, and it's been pretty neat. Something I will say that I've noticed in manufacturing is the age seems to be going up. Most of the people I work with could be my dad. A lot of them could even be my granddad. So I looked up the statistics and I guess as of 2022, the average age in manufacturing is 46 years old. It seems like there aren't that many people my age, I'm 25 right now, in manufacturing. Uh, where I work, there are very few people my age. And if they are my age, they're usually college interns. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'd like to hear your opinion on it in the comments. Personally, I think manufacturing is pretty cool, and I would like to see it stick around, but it's going to be tough when people start to retire, I think. But, like I said, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer. Leave your opinions in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And so I'm sure there's tons of coverage of IMTS, but this is just kind of the video that I put together of the different robots and other automation that I thought was neat at the show. So hopefully you guys enjoy the next few minutes, and I appreciate you watching. Yeah, 
park well, like, the robot, like, so we're using the robots in it. We're going to the and basically the robot is traveling on the road. Very similar to nothing. It's not the game. Yeah. I don't know. So, you yeah, you, so you want to put a submerged dark welding gun yeah. on the end of They use a, a software uh, max pack. Okay. So, so you yeah. wear through it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So these uh, they make them. We make them submersible. If you got sharp parts and stuff like that, pretty cool. Instead of stainless steel, we use nitronic or manganese for wear resistance. You know, the goal here is long-term usability, not. This is the word I was going to use. We never.
any questions about anything? This part full of holes would be a nightmare to hold on to a vacuum, but we can hold on to it like that, and it's going to be able to. Won't move. Yep. Now I also have these over here open, so we're going to have a little bit of vacuum loss over here. So if I want to hold this even tighter, maybe I cover it up, or I come in here and I close these off real quick. What kind of vacuum do you have on this? Uh, we have a bush pump. You know, now, plate, because uh, exactly you know, normally you're trying to line up things on a machine, you want to make sure that here. this is lined up with your X axis perfectly. Right. We don't really care you about know, that because we get a probe on, on our machine. Yeah, that this is it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, a lot of hot rod custom cars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of our guys are like. A lot of our customers are hot rods, custom cars. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a vibe table on there, yep. and it'll, it'll sort them out a little. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of like uh, robotic, robotic stuff. Would you want a thermal process? Okay. So if I hit red, see down here, it's just open that little tin on the dial. Yeah. It's going to come around. Thanks. Thank you.
this is a different version. But we could do the same thing, but this is a bus, this is a bus version. What what type of controls plot? Ethernet IP, okay. We're not we don't have we don't have Ethernet IP yet. Some of it is still uh, just raw safety relays too. Okay. That's what we're currently doing with our number of cells. We don't have a PLC on them. guys since the intro I have not left this chair and now we're at the outro I hope you enjoyed some of the clips I put together for you guys from IMTS and if you have the opportunity I really encourage you to fly or drive or walk over to Chicago take a boat maybe and check out IMTS there are 80,000 people from all over the world there in one spot and it was pretty impressive to see in person Till the next video, guys, take care.